Our next guest has appeared in over 300 TV and film projects. She's an actress, singer, comedian, and activist. TV Guide calls her a national treasure, yes. and so do we. Please welcome Jennifer Lewis. Jennifer! Here, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be back. Good to have I adore you. Adore you, girls. Oh, now Same. we just said you are a national treasure. That is the truth. Yes. And you are unofficially known as the mother of Black Hollywood. <laughs> Where did you think that came from? Listen, I played everybody's mother. I you love sure it. have. Uh, everybody from Tupac Shakur to yes. Taraji P Henson. Uh, Gabrielle Union, mm -hmm. you know, and I started off playing the aunt on Fresh Prince and yes. then the mother in all of the movies mm -hmm. and then the grandmother for eight years on yes. Blackish. So, you yes. know, I have that connection with the millennials Is because it of that, uh, that matriarch uh, yeah. image and uh, very proud of that. Well, you know, you started out doing backgrounds for Bette Midler. <laughs> And then you were cast in her movie, Beaches, which we love. Yes. How did you go vocals? from singing background to being cast in her movie? Well, Beth fell in love with me. OK, uh, let's know. And she ah. said, she said, come on, be in the movie, you know, <laughs> Beaches. And I was so excited. I think it was my second movie. Bette Mittler, Rosie, and Whoopi mm -hmm. all were in competition to make me get, you know, to get me that big break. Uh, oh, how, how how nice that that was play it. them against each I mean, other, Charlie. They never knew when I was lying and when I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, Bette Mittler, I need this. Whoopi Goldberg, I need this. Rosie O'Donnell, I need this. I didn't need anything. <laughs> I love it. I that is amazing. All, they all did my movie, Jackie's Back. Right. Yes. Everybody did it for scale. Okay. You know, what? they all loved me back then, and I'll tell you why. Because when I was in New York, I became the entertainer's entertainer. Mm. They would all come see me How in about the that? nightclubs, uh, after Broadway shows, Dream Girls was running. Yes. It was a fabulous time in New York. It yeah. speaks a lot about who you are as a person. That so many people love you. Oh, y'all, I've been out here a long time. And you know what happened? What? You know, I'm bipolar. Are you? Oh, absolutely. She put it in her book. Yes, I have uh, my uh, memoir, The Mother of Black Hollywood. I talk about my journey through mental illness. Mm -hmm. And I did it, y'all, because I care. Mm -hmm. People say, why do you do all these causes? Why do you, H how did you? I went on the Oprah Winfrey show to talk about it, and somebody said, you're coming out. I said, no, darling, I'm not coming out. I've been out, but no, life is good. Because I have to tell you, I have no secrets. I love that. I and think that's we, the freedom that you have. Absolutely. Yeah, to uh, live that I way. I think that we are as sick as our secrets. Mm. You got to tell somebody right. when somebody, you know, when you're looked at inappropriately, yeah. when, you're, when there's some abuse happening, um, speak up, people. Yes. And speak you up. speaking up and using your platform, I'm sure, Absol has helped countless of people. That's Listen, right. I got yeah. to live the American dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I came from nothing to success. And let me, de let me define my success to you. What is it? I have a smile on my face. That's that. Yeah. I'm a happy girl. Amen. I really am. That I takes came you a through long the way. fire. Absolutely. Came through the fire. Yeah. Happiness. And uh, you grow. I'm, I'm going to be 65 in January. Woo! Yes. Oh, oh wow. I'm not cute. Yes, Where's you the are. Cat? Oh, yes. yes. I'm so Look cute. Look straight there. Look straight there. So it's so okay. so okay now. <laughs> I mean, and we I love you. But I got to live the American dream. And I don't want the United States government to take that from our next generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave them alone and let them live. Don't bring all this horror and uh, fear into what's what kind, going what do you, on right what now. What do you mean by fear? Oh, that's a good question. There's so much of it now. Everything from COVID to our president saying it was a hoax. It, it's just so much chaos going on right now. Yeah. And anybody that knows how to fight needs to fight. We need to uh, protect our voting rights right now. They're yes. trying to You were very vocal they, about baby, that. Baby, I, oh, I don't care who you are or where you work. <laughs> Get your <laughs> out and vote. <laughs> okay, Jen, I have to talk about your hint 
show, Black. Yes, Love we are such fans. Oh, Love this you. eighth season will be the final season, and it will oh. finish in 2022. Now, this show was not only so important to our culture. You guys were unapologetic about the certain Absolutely. topics that you talked Can about. Can you bear it? What this? will you yes. miss the most? Oh, guys, I'm going to tell you. Really, we were all so weepy that last week. Oh. Oh. The kids were crying. I was crying. Everybody Aww. was crying. Uh, we made history, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. Yep. We made history. We brought subject matters to the world. The show is in syndication. Juneteenth. Mm. Police yes. brutality. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were unafraid. And we... We were glued like a family on that mm -hmm. set. Mm -hmm. Together eight years, that's a family. Yeah. And mm -hmm. playing a family. Mm -hmm. And even in the last episode where we move, I don't want to give it away, right, right. but wow, guys, wow. what a ride Blackish has been. What a ride. Yeah. And what we a thank ride. you, thank yes. you for bringing it to us. Now, we got a little tease of season eight. Michelle Obama? <laughs> <laughs> so excited. She came in, you know, and, and she was so graceful, so eloquent and elegant. She's everything you, you imagine her uh, to be. Yeah. I had met her uh, a few times before, but this was so special. So she lovely. was so good. She was a little nervous at first. Was she? But then she relaxed, realizing she was only playing herself. And, um, <laughs> Come on, Michelle. It was just so exciting, you know, so all the great. security. Ooh, Ooh I can't this wait. Like and, home. Oh, honey, I got to tell you, the dwarfs. <laughs> sleep, listen, sleepy, goofy, and all of them. They were at attention when she arrived <laughs> on the Disney lot. We were all bowed down and nervous, you know. Oh, I I was, and you know I was acting a fool okay. all day. I went over to the Secret Service. I said, now listen, baby. You had them laugh. Oh, of course, she went down. They had one eye on me, but 10 eyes on her. <laughs> and I was saying to the Secret Service, I said, now listen, baby. Okay. Mama ain't got no secrets, yeah. but, but I need a little service. Oh! That part. Uh, that she that was part. Cool. But let me tell you my favorite moment with okay. Michelle Obama on the set of Blackish. <sighs> we had finished a take, and she came over to me. She said, Jennifer, I'm so glad I remembered. <laughs> my mama told me to tell you hello. Oh. Just like that. My mama. I mean, Marion Robinson. Uh, I met at Oprah's house during one of the campaign fundraisers yes. for Obama when he was still a yeah, senator. Yeah. And she saw me, she went, oh, I just love you on Fresh Prince. She's a big Fresh Prince fan. Mm -hmm. And she grabbed my hand, she said, come on, Michelle's got to meet you. Uh, I, <laughs> hey, I didn't dare tell her I'd already met her. <laughs> Let's do this again. And she's so sweet. And then I saw her at when uh, Obama accepted the nomination in Denver. Mm -hmm. And uh, she waved at me. It was just wonderful. Uh, I am. You know, I am a big fan of Michelle and this is the thing. President. You have hundreds of stories. You're using your voice, you're using your platform, and you're doing something that we really want to get to. You're using your voice for good by narrating, and you're also executive producing the documentary Finding Kendrick yes. Johnson. Yes. Please Absolutely. talk to us about this important documentary. I am going to speak directly to you. Okay. Jason Pollock had directed a documentary about Mike Brown, who was killed in Ferguson. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born and raised in a small, all-black town mm -hmm. that sits on the border of Ferguson, Missouri. And even as a little girl, I was warned never to go there alone. Mm -hmm. wow. But you see, Ferguson had a movie theater, and Kenlock didn't. You think I was gonna let racism mm -hmm. keep me from going over there and sitting there with my 25-cent popcorn and imagining myself on the silver screen? And now, 68 movies later, Mm. Did I let racism stop me? Absolutely no. I did not. So when Jason Pollock called me and asked me to narrate Finding Kendrick Johnson, Ooh. which is a documentary, and I want to get this out of the way, go to Amazon Prime and watch it. Watch it tonight so it can be number one and we can get justice for the Johnson family. That family sat out, stood on the corner for six years, every weekend, 
with protest signs wow. to get justice for this young man who was murdered, stuffed into a gym mat. This boy was 5'10". How he gonna go down in a gym mat Ooh. to retrieve a shoe? And, girl, they botched the evidence. They swept it under the rug. A, a judge got enough evidence to give permission for them to storm the Bell's house. And then it was swept under the rug. Wow. And that's why we need people to watch this documentary. Yes, absolutely. Right. It, it, absolutely. It, uh, we are calling on the Biden administration, Good. Congress and the Senate, to get an investigation of this boy being killed and his organs mm. were stolen. Oh. Jennifer, we have a clip of finding Kendrick Johnson's. So let's take a look. <sighs> so we looked into finding that report to see if we could locate it, and we did. However, the report was heavily redacted. But then we were able to find the unredacted FBI report, and what we discovered blew us away. You see, in the redacted report, you can barely see any of the video frames. Most of the frames are blacked out, and the ones with KJ are barely recognizable. In the unredacted report, we were able to see all the video frames in full color. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be tuning in and watching this Same. with my family. I have to Jennifer. tell you, I want everybody to go to Amazon Prime and watch this documentary. Yeah. They have got to stop killing our children. Amen. That's right. And not being responsible. Do you Amen. understand? Yes. I will fight for this family until the very end. Oh. Thank you so thank much. This was an atrocity. Thank and you thank you, ladies, for using your platform to do thank it. Thank you. Thank you. To so get these about. messages out. I'm very That's proud right. of you. Thank you. Know oh, that. Thank the you. mother of black Hollywood is very proud of you. Thank you. Kendrick Johnson is now available on video on demand.